Manga Wido. My name is Masato Yamazaki, and I'm a business worker. I married my wife, Misaki, about two years ago. She's currently pregnant with our child, but in the middle of her pregnancy, she almost had a miscarriage. For that reason, the doctors recommended that she should be hospitalized at a hospital close by as her due date approached. Misaki strongly wanted me to be in the room when she gave birth. Of course, I wanted to be there for the emotional moment as well, and was waiting excitedly. And finally, Misaki's contractions had slowly started yesterday. When I got the notification, I visited the hospital early in the morning. There's still a lot of time between my contractions, so I was told that the birth might be late in the night. I'll be okay. You should go to work so you can hand your co-workers your paperwork and come back around lunchtime. That's what Misaki said, and so I asked the midwife as well, but... It should still take a lot of time. The midwife agreed, so I decided to clock into work for the morning and left the hospital. I usually use both the train and bus to get to work. When I got off the train at the station closest to my workplace, I checked the time for the next bus and found out that there was still a lot of time until the next bus. Hmm, it's a waste of time to wait here, so maybe I should take a taxi today. I thought that and walked to the exit when... In the corner of the platform, I saw a woman leaning against the wall. I could see that her stomach was sticking out even from afar, and I could also see that she didn't look very well. I was immediately reminded of when Misaki almost had a miscarriage, so I moved closer to speak to the woman. Are you okay? Y yes I just don't feel well because of my morning sickness. I think I'll be okay if I rest for a little bit. The woman was sitting down and leaning against the wall. She didn't look very well, but she was able to answer my question. <sighs> I was on my way to the general hospital for a checkup, but I started to feel sick on the way. There were a lot of people on the train, so it must have put her under a lot of stress. I was thinking about using a taxi from here, oh, but it hurts to move. I understand. I was on my way to find a taxi as well, so I'll go with you. Th thank you. I helped the struggling lady stand up, and we walked towards the taxi area. After leaving the station and walking towards the traffic circle, I sat the lady down on the bench so that I could call a taxi. Please wait here. The station is close to the general hospital, so there should be a lot of taxis that can take you there. I'm going to stand in line, and I'll call you when I find a ride. Thank you so much. I just moved here with my husband for his job. I don't really know anyone that lives close by, so I was feeling very anxious. Don't worry about it. I see. My wife is currently pregnant, so I couldn't pretend like I didn't see anything and walk away. Thank you. In the middle of our conversation, the woman suddenly laid down on the bench and passed out. Uh, huh? Excuse me, are you okay? Uh, ambulance! I need an ambulance! Because I had raised my voice, the people around us seemed to notice the lady and helped us call an ambulance. When the ambulance arrived, the medics asked me which hospital the woman usually went to. So, I told them the hospital that the lady mentioned she was going to get a checkup at. That was the hospital where my wife was also staying. Uh, I'll call my work later. I have to go to the hospital now! The lady was grabbing onto my shirt sleeve and muttering a man's, probably her husband's name. I couldn't shake off her hand. You're okay. You're going to be okay. I grabbed onto her hand for support and rode the ambulance with the woman to the hospital. I supported the woman until we got to the hospital, so the emergency nurses all mistook me as her husband. Sir, please wait here. And so, I was taken to the waiting room. A while later, the doctor that came to the waiting room was an obstetrician that I had met before. Sir, aren't you Yamazaki-san's husband? Why are you here? I told the doctor all about how I had stumbled upon the pregnant lady and helped her get to the hospital. I see. Thank you so much for your help. Of course. I'll leave the rest to you. The doctor then walked out of the room. I thought, thank goodness, and sighed with relief. I can go see Misaki now. I took out my phone to contact my workplace when I saw a bunch of missed calls and notifications. Could it be? Did something happen to Misaki? Frantically, I called her back but got no answer. Turning pale, I rushed to her hospital room, but she was nowhere to be seen. I was at a shock for words. When I looked around the hallway, one of the nurses came up to me. Yamazaki-san, your child was born healthy. Your wife gave birth after you left. What? You're kidding. But I heard that even at the earliest, it would take until nighttime. 
We can't predict when exactly a birth happens. Anyways, congratulations, sir. Apparently, her contractions had increased while I was on the train. I was relieved that Misaki was able to give birth safely, but I couldn't watch her give birth to my child. I was waiting in the room in shock when Misaki, who had just finished giving birth, was wheeled into the room on a wheelchair. The first words that came out of her mouth were, Why didn't you come? Uh, I'm sorry, but I am... Um, I heard our child was born safely and uh, that's amazing. I... What do you mean, amazing? You... I want a divorce! A divorce! Th there was a reason why I couldn't... I don't want to hear your excuses! It was a safe birth, but I was going through a lot. You promised you'd be there with me. Just go home. I don't want to see your face anymore. Misaki wouldn't listen to what I had to say, so I walked out of the hospital while sulking. <sighs> she wants a divorce. I do understand why she'd be so upset. I also have to call my work. Why did this happen? I held my head in my hands and sat on the bench at the park in front of the hospital. I lost track of how much time had passed. I only noticed when the sun finally started to set. There was someone I recognized walking towards me. It was my wife's father. F father Masato-kun, I finally found you. Oh, you... Was he going to talk about the divorce? Or was he going to lecture me about what happened right here? I prepared myself for the attack. Instead, the words that came out of Misaki's father's mouth were different from what I had imagined. I heard what happened. I'm so proud that you're my daughter's husband. No, just in general. I think you're a wonderful man. What? I didn't understand at first, but I understood everything after her father started explaining. A while after I had left Misaki's hospital room, the obstetrician that was with the pregnant woman had come to check up on Misaki after her labor. My wife was still angry. She was saying things like, It's awful that he wasn't there for me, right? Understanding the situation, the doctor explained that, thanks to me, a pregnant woman was saved and a healthy child was born. In addition, the family of the pregnant woman even came over to thank my wife for what I did. Just like that, while I was sulking in the park in front of the hospital, the problem solved itself. I went back to my wife's hospital room with her father. I was upset that I couldn't get in contact with you. I'm sorry for what I said earlier. It's fine. No matter the reason, I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there for you too. After we apologized to each other, I pushed my wife's wheelchair, and together, we went to see our child. I had no words. I was filled with immense happiness. Eventually, my wife and the lady I had saved that day became friends. Her husband and I even went out to get drinks sometimes. Our children were both boys, and I was happy to see that the two of them got along as well. If I had ignored the struggling lady that day and prioritized going to work, things wouldn't have been the same as they are now. I wasn't able to watch my son's birth, but I believe that the decisions I made that day were right. I was able to save another life after all. That's what I strongly believe now.